the Great White Shark. Possibly the most iconic shark on the planet. Instantly recognizable. It's majestic, powerful, and large. Not the largest shark around, but it is the largest predatory shark. But just how large is that? How big can a great white actually get? A quick search of biggest great white ever will probably get you deep blue, along with this picture. That isn't deep blue, it's Howler Girl, another large female white shark. This is deep blue. Deep Blue is estimated to be about 6.1 or 20 feet long, though some have debated her size, saying she's more likely to be 18 or 19 feet long. The thing is, she has never been scientifically measured or weighed, but if we say she's about 18 to 20 feet long, perhaps she is a contender for the largest living white shark. But what about in the past? What's the biggest we ever recorded? Okay, well let's take a look. A shark was caught in Prince Edward Island in Canada in August 1983, and it was 533 to 609 centimeters long, so about 17.5 to 20 feet. But that's about deep blue size, so let's go bigger. In June of 1961, in Sicily, Italy, a great white was caught measuring 640 centimeters long, so about 21 feet in length. Apparently a shark was caught in Cuba in 1945 that was also 640 centimeters in length, El Monstro. So 21 feet is very big, but there is bigger. Two different sharks were caught in 1987, one off Kangaroo Island, South Australia, called Kanga, and another in Malta called Fifla. They were both over 700 centimeters long, around 23 feet. Wow, that's some pretty big sharks. But we can go even bigger. A great white was caught off of Campobello Island, Canada in November 1932, and it measured 792 centimeters in length, 26 feet. Incredible. I didn't think a great white could get this big. It seems kind of, but hey, we can still go bigger. In San Miguel, Azores, in May of 1978, a great white was caught that was 899 centimeters, 29 feet, 6 inches in length. How is this possible? It's gigantic. This seems way too big. 29 feet? But, uh, we can still go bigger. In Port Ferry, Victoria, Australia, a great white shark was caught that was 1,110 centimeters long, 36.5 feet. The jaws of this titan shark were donated to the British Museum of Natural History and represent the maximum size of the species, or at least they did. In the 1970s, a man named John Ernest Randall, an American ichthyologist, was a bit suspicious of these size claims, so he went to measure them himself. He measured the jaw and the teeth, and using these measurements, he estimated that this shark was actually between 520 to 560 centimeters, so about 17 or 18 feet in length, not the 36 feet reported. It would seem that great white shark lengths are often overestimated and exaggerated, so what about all those other sharks? Which of these sizes is accurate? How big can a great white actually get? When talking about the length of great whites, for the purposes of this video, I'm referring to the total length of the shark from the tip of the nose back to the caudal fin in a straight line. Sometimes great whites are measured with the caudal fin squashed down, sometimes they are measured just before the caudal fin, but again, just because it's the easiest one for me to get my head around, when I refer to the total length of a great white, it will be the tip of the nose to the caudal fin in a straight line. The next thing is that Randall estimated the size by examining photos, but also by measuring the teeth and jaws, and using those measurements and equations to get an estimate of their overall size. Similar work has been done in the early 2000s, usually yielding similar results. So how about we work backwards here? So we know the Port Ferry 36 foot shark is a major exaggeration. How about the San Miguel 29 footer? Well, this shark was allegedly measured by Trevor Housby, a big game fishing consultant. He said he measured it in a straight line and got the 29 feet 6 inch length. He also estimated the weight of the shark to be between 4,500 to 6,000 kilos. However, when Randall examined a photo of the shark in 1987, he said it could be no more than 610 centimeters, so about 20 feet. He thought maybe the shark was actually measured over the curves 
and the size just exaggerated overall. There was supposed to have been a tooth taken from this shark that was 7.6 centimeters long, which would suggest a length over 800 centimeters, but the tooth has never been located and it's uncertain if it even exists. What about the Campobello Island Great White in Canada? Well, we don't seem to have anything for this shark. No remains, no photos, so it's not really considered reliable. We do have another shark that's similar in size, the 800 centimeter or 26 footer from Mallorca in 1969, but not a whole lot of info on this one. Photo analysis by Gabriel Moray in a research paper on great white sharks put the shark between 620 to 642 centimeters, so not as big as first thought, but 21 feet is still pretty big. Next, how about we take a look at the two sharks caught in 1987, Kanga and Fifla. This is where things get complicated. Let's look at Kanga, the Australian shark first. When she was caught in a gill net by a fisherman named Peter Risley, Peter said the shark was 700 centimeters long, about 23 feet. In the following year, however, Michael Capo, a research scientist from the Australian Institute of Marine Science, contested the size. He examined the jaws and instead estimated the total length between 580 to 640 centimeters. So again, about 21 feet. Later, another ichthyologist named Henry F. Mullet would use the same equation and get 572 to 657 centimeters. So pretty close. But Mullet also went further and using measurements from the fins and tails and jaws, he estimated Kanga was in the range of 530 to 820 centimeters and thought the initial 700 centimeters was actually reasonable. While most estimates of the shark put it closer to the 600 centimeter range, the 700 centimeter length can't be ruled out completely. Next, we will go to the med to look at Fifla. A random fact about her is that when she was caught, she had a blue shark, half a dolphin, a bag of trash, and 10 unborn pups inside her. So she must have been pretty big, right? Yeah, but it's kind of the same story we get with Kanga. There are a bunch of different estimates, most putting her closer to 600 centimeters if not a little under, but a few suggest she may have been 7 meters long. You might be wondering why we don't have the entire body of any of the sharks. Well, I don't know why so many of them get disposed of, but we do have a specimen from the 50s, from France. A mold was made of the shark that is 565 centimeters long, so 18.5 feet. Another great white that was recorded in Australia that was the most accurate measurement, according to Randall, was 594.4 centimeters, so 19 feet 6 inches. Okay. Let's summarize. According to the Smithsonian, the average length of a female great white shark is about 15 to 16 feet, 457 to 487 centimeters. The largest accurately measured great white was 594 centimeters, so 19 feet 6 inches. Many sharks have been estimated above 6 meters by experts, and there is a reasonable case that sharks like Kanga and Fifla might have reached 7 meters. So saying the max size of a great white shark is somewhere between 6.5 to 7 meters, 21 to 23 feet, sounds like a solid guess to me. Anything above 7 meters gets tricky to verify. There are certainly reports, but whenever the evidence is analyzed, it seems the size was overestimated. Here's a shark caught off China in 2008 that was reported to be 1,000 centimeters long, 30 feet. But photo analysis, as well as the weight of the shark, suggests it was closer to 614 centimeters. So still very big, but not as big as estimated. Perhaps one day we will be able to verify a huge great white exceeding 7 meters, but it doesn't seem very likely. For one thing, reports of sharks exceeding 6 meters are much less common these days, possibly because the big great whites of the past were hunted for trophies, robbing the gene pool of those big shark genes. Who knows? But before you comment that Submarine or the Black Demon of Cortez are slash were 30 foot great whites, or that your friend's uncle was out on his 30 foot boat that was dwarfed by a great white shark that swam by, just remember how common it is for people to overestimate or exaggerate the size of a shark. There are many other examples I didn't even use in this video, and that is even when the people have its full body out of the water. Even an establishment like the British Museum of Natural History once overestimated the length by almost 18 feet, and they had the jaws of that shark. Just something to keep in mind. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. 
please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope you have a great day.